What's up guys, Johnny here. Welcome back to my channel. So where I live, which seems like it's up in the North Pole these days, it's not really conducive to flying right now. And about the only thing it seems like it's really good for is uh, riding rickshaws. I don't know about that, but what I do know is when the weather looks like this outside, it's really time for one thing. And that's tiny whoop time. Currently, Newbie Drone's actually celebrating their birthday, and so they've been running some sales on some of their products. So I decided to take the chance to pick up some of their gold motors um, and see how they perform compared to the motors I typically run on my tiny whoops. Um, so right now, what I'm actually running is some Excel RC Insane motors. I think they're 19,500 kV. And I'm going to do some tests comparing those motors to these new gold motors from Newbie Drone. I've heard they're the best motors. I figured let's put them to the test and see how they do. Um, for this test, I plan to do a very similar test to what I've done in my last two Tiny Whoop uh, comparison videos, and that's the punch out test, right? Go from the first floor, punch out to the second floor, and time how long it takes. Um, for these motors though, I figured that's not gonna be enough. So what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna set up a small racetrack um, around the first floor of my house, um, basically having a few gates I gotta go through. Um, so we're gonna start through a table in the middle of my house. I'm gonna go through my kitchen, uh, through the island around the kitchen, into the dining room, around the dining room, through my daughter's trampoline, back around, uh, through my window out of the dining room area, into the main room, and then back under that uh, gate to start. I'm using my TBS race tracker to try to keep track of these. Um, when I've tried the TBS race tracker before, it didn't work the best in a small tiny loop course, um, but I figured I'm gonna give it a shot anyway, and hopefully it does a pretty good job. Um, I'll make sure to calibrate it at the start of this test. I figure doing this test, you know, what a lot of people are going to care about is, are these motors going to help me win Tiny Whoop races? So that's why I want to include this race course as part of these tests. So first, I plan to take my current Tiny Whoop here, which is a B core, uh, running the E010 frame, and rocking the Excel RC Insane motors, do the punch out test, do the race course, and then I'm going to swap out these motors and put the gold motors in and do the exact same test. Um, these motors were just installed here last week. They probably have a total of maybe five to ten flights on them so far. So they're pretty new, pretty fresh motors. It should be a relatively fair test uh, for these motors versus the gold motors. Anyways, guys, let's go put this one here to the test and let's see how it does. And then we'll come back, we'll swap them out, and we'll do it all again. Let's check it out.
really happy with these motors. They performed really great on the punch out test. Um, they felt great running through the racetrack. I think there's a reason why these have been my go-to motors for the last couple of months. Let's head down to the workbench, swap them out with the gold motors and see how those can do. Did you just see that? I knew these motors would be good. I never expected them to be that good. Somehow when I started doing these punch out tests the second floor, I never thought I'd see a tiny loop beat one second. Yet there it did, 56 frames to reach the second floor. That's absolutely amazing. I, I'm blown away. I'm gonna show you a slow motion test between the Insane and the Gold motors just to appreciate how much of a difference there is in the punch out power. These are really incredible. I think those results speak for themselves. I had a best lap time of 18.31 seconds with the Insane Motors. I thought that was really good, but once I switched to the Gold Motors, I was able to make it around at 15.2 seconds. That's over a three second difference. That's absolutely nuts. I mean, I was having a hard time keeping the Gold Motors under control as it went around this track. 
the, the motors were just a lot more powerful than I was used to and it just it got a little bit harder going at that speed around some of the obstacles. But as you can see, the more I went around the track, it was getting easier and easier to stay under control and put down better lap times. I'm in love with these motors. What else can I say? I've already ordered two more sets of these motors because when these sets go, I don't want to be stuck using anything less than the gold motors. And as a reminder guys, if you guys want the best performing Tiny Whoop, at least that I've seen so far, Newbie Drone is currently running a sale through the end of this month, uh, March uh, 2017, where they're giving discounts on these gold motors. I think currently they're 20% off and it might even get even better before the end of the month. All right guys, I'm gonna leave you with a side-by-side -side comparison of my best laps between the Insane and the gold motors. That really should help you see just how much of a difference it makes when you're actually running through a Tiny Whoop course. If you wanna be setting the best times and the most number of laps for your local Tiny Whoop race, get some of these gold motors, the other guys will be blown away. Enjoy, and I'll catch y'all next time.